this is Kristen with the ALS 411 on toileting. When your PALS is in the beginning stages of the disease, I have a couple of tips that might be helpful. The first is a toilet riser. You can purchase these online and if you put them on a standard toilet, it will raise the toilet up a little bit to make it easier to get on and off. The other thing that is helpful, and it's actually great for everyone, is a bidet. You can put a bidet on a toilet and it will extend your pal's independence with cleaning after a bowel movement. And um, it's pretty simple, it just hooks up to the toilet's water supply, and those are also available online, hardware stores, Amazon. The other thing that is helpful is a urinal. Now, all urinals are not created equal. I was surprised to find out when purchasing some just over the counter at a drugstore that they had a very sharp edge, which is very uncomfortable. This one is a Carex brand. I picked it up at our hospital medical supply store and it's curved. So we have one of these at home and we keep one in the van too. Now, keeping this equipment clean requires bleach. And in between the bleach, sometimes Listerine is a good thing to put in if the bleach fumes bother you. At night, if you're helping a guy, some of these tips are just for helping men, obviously, because I'm helping my husband, but we have this urinal. And it's helpful because it won't spill like the other ones would because it drains while it's being used. I keep it in a bowl because on several occasions I, in my sleep deprived state, did not remember to have it closed and so the, the bowl kind of saved our, our floor. But you can just um, put the bowl on the floor and hold up the urinal for your patient and sometimes it's hard to get it to drain right away, it needs to kind of have a little bit of a vacuum. If you push the bowl away from you, a lot of times that will help it drain. And then, I have some bleach water in it now. You just squeeze the valve and drain into the toilet. And you're good to go. Now after the um, Right, to toilet riser wasn't working and the bidet wasn't working, we realized we needed another solution. And so we got this, we purchased this lift seat. Now this lift seat can be set up in a bedroom using the commode insert as well. We have it here over our toilet. It has a remote control, so it just raises the patient up and then they're able to get off. Now one way that this, this um, lift power lift seat is advantageous over the simple riser is it's very hard to eliminate when you're in this position slightly standing with a high toilet seat. So with the lift seat, you're able to come all the way back down, which is nice. We still use this today, even though Todd is past the point of walking or being able to get on himself. What we do now is we pull up, he pulls up in his wheelchair, and then I transfer him to the toilet. And here we have a gate belt. Now, you can just use this gate belt, and you put it around the patient, and then if you're, you're holding on to them, you tighten it and it helps, gives you something to hold on to as they're transferring. Now, Todd's a kind of a big guy and I was really worried about falling, him falling. And so we devised this system using our overhead lift while he was still walking. He would pull up, 
And then his, uh, we um, paid extra for his chair to have an elevator, which is kind of similar to the power lift. And so he would stand up. And then, this has a remote control in the bag as well. And then he would stand up. And I would help him shuffle to the lift seat and help him sit down. And we found this overhead lift really helpful because it helps if he can lean forward to urinate and we have an elongated bowl so that helps everything stay in where it belongs and then lift up and sometimes he'll just have me change positions using this lift because it'll help move things along and help avoid constipation. Now even now when we are transferring to the toilet and he's no longer able to walk he still likes to sit on the toilet with this rather than in the sling because it gives him that same ability to move, for me to move him in various directions. And then we still find the lift seat a useful piece of equipment because after he's done eliminating, I lift the toilet seat and I lower the hoist and he's able to lean forward and then I'm able to use this handheld bidet sprayer that we installed, which is great. It's a toilet sprayer, toilet bidet sprayer. And I'm able to use this to clean his bottom. And then I use gloves and wipes. Just throw the wipes in the, in the garbage. And then we lower the lift seat. And raise the overhead lift for stability and then he's ready to transfer back into his wheelchair. The other thing I want to mention with toileting, this is a good natural solution for regularity. He ta Todd takes some, um, a quarter teaspoon of the CalMag mix and a quarter teaspoon of the magnesium once a day and that seems to be enough for him to stay regular. In addition, I think shifting on the toilet helps too and drinking plenty of water. Check with your medical care provider to make sure that this supplement works with your other medications. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our blog, nevastory.com, if you have comments, questions, things that have worked well for you, leave them below and we'll see you next time.